seen the last pleasures And I've seen the last pleasures I've been in it so Windsor in 93 <clears throat> with the idea of starting a downtown church uh, focused on ministering to people in the urban core. So in our eight and a half years of having the church running, uh, we've seen that uh, God has provided, God has made a way for us to do what we do. Um, the challenge though is that, uh, you know, a, a church of this size and in a middle-class community um, would be able to care for itself. And uh, often in churches that have more of a mission focus to them, um, it's, it's hard to really attract a, a, a solid core of people who will tithe. And, and uh, we have lots of generous givers, um, but of that group you have uh, probably a disproportionate amount of people who are on social assistance or disability. I mean, we've, we've got people who um, are from all different uh, age brackets, all different economic groups, um, but uh, it's, it's a challenge, it's an uphill challenge. I used to play here in a band uh, called Street Talk when this was Mongo Murphs. <clears throat> and it was a pretty rough little place. My wife has been very scared to go out into the neighborhood because she's not used to this kind of setting. Cross Street was a biker club called the Queensman. I don't even know, they may even still be there, I'm not sure. Being a single parent raising kids on my own, I need the community to help me raise my kids. And I find a lot of help here. The Lord's really been breaking me since I've been here. And, uh, and really causing me to, to break my old ways and get into a new routine that he has for me. And the church is moving out of the city. Here was Kevin Rogers who wanted to get in the city and, and even buy a bar in the p worst part of the city and start an outreach there. And that I really thought was a great vision. I go to church at New Song because this is my neighborhood and we have a tight community in the neighborhood and this church belongs to our neighborhood. God lets Kevin have the church, but the neighborhood belongs to the people and your church is as strong as the people in it. I mean, my family's tried to be there for me, but it seems like they have to be there because they're my biological family, whereas the people here don't necessarily have to be here, be here for me, but they choose to be here because of who they are. For the most part, been feeling the Lord lead me to get out into the streets and pray. I left this neighborhood as a very confused, hurt, tormented child. I'm 40 years old and I'm a strong woman and I came back here because it's time to give back to the community that taken away from me. One of the things that, that always strikes me, I hear people say again and again, I always enjoyed coming to this church because I felt like I could just be myself and I didn't have to act a certain way. I, I could just be who I really am and know that people weren't judging me and people weren't checking me out. And uh, church needs to be a safe place. It needs to be a place where people can encounter Jesus. 
How is it that Jesus, who is the holiest uh, man to ever be on the face of the earth, and, you know, that God-man, Jesus, who, though he was the ultimate in holiness, made sinners feel comfortable in his presence? Jesus was called the friend of sinners. Sometimes I wonder, what do sinners call us? I hope they call us their friend. Step right in and let it wash away your blues. 